this episode, you'll learn about making your own leads to help you in your workday and save you a fortune. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a lead with a jack plug, XLRs and phonos, as these are the most common connectors that we use in the studio. The humble lead, essential to every setup you may be working on. Let's look at how to make your own leads from scratch so you can make exactly what you need and when you need it. No more waiting on stuff to be delivered from eBay or anywhere else, saving you lots of money. So as we said in the introduction, we're gonna deal with the three main connectors that we'll use in the studio. And let me show you what those are. We've got jack plugs and we have a stereo jack plug and a mono jack plug. And how do we know the difference? Well, if you look at the sections here, you got the sleeve and the tip and you got a sleeve and a tip, but on the stereo one, you have that ring there. And that ring suggests that this is a stereo jack, whereas there's no ring in this one, and now you have a mono jack. Another common connector is the XLR, or Canon. And then if we have a look at this, this is a mono lead. And this is a mono connector uh, that's called a phono, or in the olden days, they used to call them RCAs. And that is mono, they usually come in pairs. So that's the connectors we're dealing with. If we want to look at the lead that you need for making up microphone leads, guitar leads, all that sort of stuff. So if we open up the XLR, we'll be able to see the three components, or four components, of this lead. We can see here you got a red, a black, and a silver. Red is live, your black is neutral, and the silver one is your earth. Right in here, you got your lead and you got your cover, but your cover is covered in kind of tin foil material and it's called screen. And that basically protects these wires from any external radio interference or electrical interference that you'd find around the studio. So it just protects the signal coming from these pins going into these wires and down into the other point of the lead. So the next thing is the pin outs. The pin outs are literally what these pins do and what their job is and where they connect. So on the XLR, you can see you've got three pins, one, two, three, and you got your red, your black, and your silver connected to each of those. And they will correspond to the pins that are in this connector. So this is the female connection of the XLR. And you can see that there, okay. Let me get that right. Now, and that's how they connect up. On the jack, and I'm gonna focus on the pinouts for the mono jack, because it's the mono jack that we use for guitar leads, patch bays, all that sort of stuff. Okay, because you get your left and your right. I'm just gonna open up this one. Now, the pinouts, for a jack are tip and sleeve, okay? So you see the sleeve coming up here as that long piece, and the tip is just that little pin in there. So that's your mono jack, and they're the pinouts for that. Let's go through the pinouts for the RCA, or phono connector. And as I said, this is mono, so I'm just gonna open this bad boy, and in here you see a mono lead. And just like the mono jack, see our sleeve is this big long connector here. We got the same kind of thing going on with the phono, which is your sleeve. And then the tip is this little point here. So it's very similar to the mono jack. Okay, and that's your phono lead. I'm not just saying this. First things first, use your bleeding head. The soldering iron gets incredibly hot, so you can burn your fingers very badly or even your mother's kitchen table. <gasps> the other thing to watch out for is solder. Now this connects the wires to the connections in our connectors or your pinouts. And if there's impurities in this, it can kind of spark or burst and little bits fly everywhere. So 
get the glasses on because it's incredibly important or even use a pair of you know safety goggles if you feel that's the most appropriate the other thing to watch out for with solder is when you're soldering it gives off this smoke and that is basically a uh, lead vapor and you breathe that in and it's not good for the brain at all we need a couple of tools right first things first we need a soldering iron and we need solder and a few more tools we take this lead and we have to strip off the outer plastic so we do that with our trusty leatherman and our wire strippers on there now you can get tools to do this and a much neater job believe me um, but i'm kind of used to it because me and my leatherman go everywhere together so look when i strip that off i've got my red black and silver okay so live, neutral, and earth. Now we'll go and take this to our connector and we'll build our lead. You need to take a little bit off the top of the red and a little bit off the top of the black because we need to connect the metal bits to our pinouts, okay? And again, you can either use your nail, if you have nails, or else you just get your little bit of Leatherman or wire strippers and you strip off the top there. Old habit of mine, I always twist it off. So you don't have any little stray strands flying around the place. That when everything is soldered, it won't accidentally tip off another pin and then rendering your lead useless. So just th make things nice and neat with all your wires, including your earth. So you don't have any stray strands around your connections. As soon as you have your wire prepped, let's go and look at an XLR. So this is an XLR and this is a male. So you just strip off the back and you'll see this. So push the pins through from the front and that'll take the cable grip and the pin outs out for you. These are all safety features of the XLR to make sure that your cable doesn't get pulled when you're working on it or somebody trips over your guitar lead or your synth lead or whatever this, or your mic lead, whichever connection you're working with at the time. So now you have this, you got your pins and there's the back of your pin outs. And these are numbered one, two, and three. The one thing you do have to remember because when you get back and you've soldered your beautiful XLR, the one thing you may have forgotten is your cable grip. So first things first, you put your cable grip on, your lead, that just goes through there, that's the cover that holds the whole thing together. And then this, you'll see, just slides on to the cable, like that. And that'll grip the cable into the connector. So when somebody walks by your microphone and they trip over the lead, it won't yank the connections all apart. First things first, we're gonna go stereo. I just get my vice grips. And that's just to hold it in place and keep everything nice and neat. Then I get my pre-prepared wire. I have all my stuff stripped out, including my red, my black, and my silver. Now, as I'm looking at this, we've got our one, three, and two. And I'm going to connect all my wires up. So my earth, I'm going to one, take it away and give it a little wiggle to make sure that it's connected. My black goes to three and there it's connected. Give it a little wiggle and that just forces it to sit in right. And then my red goes to two. And that's basically how you wire an XLR. So we've done our extraordinary soldering and everything's looking absolutely beautiful. So I'm delighted with myself. So let's put it all together. So there is a little tip here and that goes down the channel there in the connector. You'll see them when you, when you get one of these connectors into your hand. If you don't feel it, just spin it around and then suddenly it'll just sit in like that. Bring your grip around 
That also has the little rib there, so that'll follow through as well. So now that's sitting in there nicely, and you just match the rib up, and it just sits in there like that. Then we just get the last, this is the last piece of the connection, and that grips the cable gripper. Screws on there, nice and tight, and there's your lead. Let's move on to the jack plug. Okay, and we're gonna try a mono jack plug because you're used for guitar leads and for patch bays and you're left and right out of your synthesizer. So, do you remember with the mono, we have the sleeve and we have the tip, which is different from the stereo. We're just gonna focus on the mono right now. So we have the sleeve and the tip. I'm gonna use a mono wire. One for sleeve and your earth for the tip. Okay, so there's your live and there's your sleeve. Get my soldering iron. Okay, so that's enough solder right now for my uh, sleeve and pin. And we get our mono lead, okay? So we have the center for our pin and the earth for our sleeve. Don't forget your cable grip. Otherwise you'll have to pull the whole thing apart again and start from scratch. Cable grip goes on and then you get the housing grip. Housing grip, cable grip. So all sorts of different models of these connectors, there's plastic ones, metal ones. I have a plastic one here, somewhere. And I do notice that when you're working off plastic ones, you really gotta be precise with your soldering. Otherwise you can find that the housing and the pins shift, because if they get really hot, then they shift in the plastic and the actual integrity of the plug falls apart. So just be really, really careful of that. You gotta be really precise with your soldering. So now, we got our housing and we got our grip. Now we're ready to go solder. So let's do the tip first, and then the screen. So because it's mono, it's only one little connector. So now we have them all connected up. It's all done super. So we wanna put the plug together again. Take it out of your vice grips. Bring this shield back down. Screw it together. And remember, the pins on a mono jack are the same as the pins on the phono connector. So the wiring process is the same. So there you have it. How to make your own audio leads. You can get the components from lots of places, including the Adorama online store. Check out the links below. I'm Keith Alexander and you've been watching Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos and tell us what you think. You can like, comment or share this video. And please come by the Adorama Learning Center for more great information and advice.